Welcome to Farm Science. Do you have any questions in your mind? We are here to answer any questions related to science sent to us by concerned people. You can ask us absolutely anything with common sense or not, and we we'll provide you a scientific answer. It's very simple enough. Just call us in our landline 416-0032 and ask your question. We will try our best that we will prove a sufficient answer for your queries. Let us now hear today's caller. Hello. Hello, BMA Science Corporation. How can we help you? Just wondering, we have an assignment in our physical science given to us by our teacher and I need your help. What is it that you need? We need to find an explanation of what steady state theory. Don't worry, Miss Caller. My friends here are going to answer that question. In cosmology, the steady state theory, also known as the infinite universe theory, or continuous creation, is a model developed in 1948 by Fred Hoyle, Thomas Gold, Herman Bondi, and others as an alternative to the Big Bang Theory. Steady state theory of Bondi, Gold, and Hoyle was inspired by the circular plot of the film Dead of the Night they watched together. Steady state theory asserts that although the universe is expanding, it nevertheless does not change. It looks over time, yet it has no beginning and no end. The key importance of the steady state model is that as competitor to the Big Bang, it was an impetus in generating some of the most important research in astrophysics, much of which ultimate ended up supporting of the Big Bang theory. In conclusion, the steady state theory is a view that the universe is always expanding but maintaining a constant average density after being continuously created to form new stars and galaxies at the same rate that all must become unobservable as a consequence of their increasing distance and velocity of precession. Is it now clear to you, Miss Scholar? Wow! Amazing! Now I know! Thank you, Bam Science! Now, let us move on to the next caller. Hello, Bomb Science. Hello, speaking. How can we help you? We had an assignment wherein we need to know what is the difference between the Big Bang Theory and Steady State Theory. Can you please give me some ideas? Sure, here are some of us that can give you information. According to the Steady State Theory, the universe has no beginning and no end. The Big Bang Theory, however, states that before the Big Bang, there was nothing. The Big Bang was a sudden expansion of time and space, and it began the universe. One minute of a second after the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand, but the speed at which it was expanding was not as fast as during the Big Bang. The universe continues to expand still to this day, though there are individuals that think that it may start to condense and crunch together one day. The Big Bang Theory states that no new matter can be created. The total amount of matter and energy in the universe always stay the same. It never increases or decreases. As the universe expands, it becomes less dense. However, the steady state theory states that although the universe is expanding matter is constantly being created at the same rate and therefore the density of the universe never changes. The look of the universe does not change because of the constant creation of matter.
However, we can say that there are no similarities to the two theories. They are complete opposites. Big Bang Theory states that the universe started because of an explosion, but the steady state theory contradicts that because it feels that there are new galaxies that are appearing but there are no explosion. There was the similarities in the Big Bang and steady state theories are few. Both theories explained the galaxy discovered by Bestos Clipper, Edwin Hubble, and Milton Humanson. They each don't have an answer for anything, such as the Big Bang does not explain the ball of matter and the steady state does not explain how the universe was formed. Were our answers enough? And enough. Thank you, Bang Science. And now, let us hear our last caller for today. Hello, is this Bam Science? Hello, ma'am. This is Bam Science. How can we help you? We have a project and we need to search for why was the study state theory rejected by the science community. Please help me. Sure. Please just listen to our friends for a moment. The steady state model of the universe was proposed in 1948 by Bondi, Angold, and by Hoyle. Bondi and Gold adopted the perfect cosmological principle and added the assumption that the universe was the same at all times to homogeneity and isotropy. The universe is observed to be expanding, so if the density remains the same, matter must be continuously created. Steady state model has no adjustable parameters to correct for this error. But the Big Bang does assumption the conserved radio sources can be dropped in a favor of excess of radio source. One, three, gar after Big Bang. Thus, that steady state failed the radio source contest while the Big Bang passed by winning ugly, introducing a new parameter to describe a new denom. The expansion of the universe spreads the existing matter over a larger and larger volume, but the density stays constant. The steady state models require continuous creation of matter. The average age of matter in the steady state model is, but some galaxies are much older than the average, so the age of the globular clusters can be accommodated if the Milky Way is older than the average. The space-time diagram below shows the steady-state model. Discovery of the cosmic background black body radiation came later and completed the death of the steady-state. The universe now is now producing a black body since it is not isothermal and it is transparent instead of opaque. In the steady state, the universe was always the same so it never produced a black body. Hence, the existence of a black body background ruled out steady state. In addition, the temperature of the cosmic background can be me measured in some very distant clouds that produce absorption lines in the spectra of quasars. The neutral carbon atoms in these clouds are existing to an excitation temperature that can be measured using line ratio.
Mom Color, was our answer enough for you? Yes, it was very enough. Thank you very much. Thank you for turning in as we answer your questions and learn a whole lot more about the steady state theory.